Well, tears for little Christopher, all while his mother remains behind bars. Brittany Hall is serving up to 30 years for her role in the death of her son, Christopher. Today was Hall's first opportunity to be released from prison. For every crime, there's a story in The Truth Matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Brittany Hall turned the other cheek and never came to her son's rescue. That's what landed her in prison. And what hurts little Christopher's extended family even more is that Hall defended her boyfriend, who's now accused of murdering the little boy. You have a man who's abusive to you, abusive to your boy. Even after he kills your boy, you cover for him. What would make a mother do that to her own child? That's what a parole board hearing officer asked of Brittany Hall. She's serving up to 30 years in prison for inflicting serious injuries and obstruction of justice in the death of Christopher Leader. Leader died last year after he was physically abused, allegedly by Hall's boyfriend, Gavin Haar. Haar was with him that night and allegedly texted her claiming he was going to be beaten, but she didn't think it would happen. To be completely honest, no, I didn't. He had never shown signs of treating any of my kids that way. Christopher's extended family looked on in disbelief, some claiming she had been confronted, even witnessed the abuse. He would grab little Chris by the arm because he would be playing with the wrong toy, drag him down my hallway, slamming the door shut on me and locking it as little Chris is in there screaming bloody murder. <laughs> and Brittany is in the room with them. Now I get to see my son in a pitcher and in an urn. It's wrong for all of us. She doesn't care. After the two and a half year old boy was beaten, Gar allegedly told Hall to lie about the injuries. And after his death, she and Gar left for Washington State. She should never be allowed out, in my eyes. Because of the lies, she ran with a man who she knew killed him. I hurt them all so badly. And I blame myself for all of it because I could have walked away and I didn't. And I can't apologize enough for it. It's doubtful Hall will be paroled anytime soon based on her own comments and those from the hearing officer. The entire board of parts will make that official ruling in a matter of weeks. Now, as for her boyfriend, Gavin Haar, he faces trial in February. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.